Hello everybody and welcome back to m j Games. I am Michael. Now in today's video we are looking at a park that was uploaded to Workshop I think about three months ago and this has been one that's been on my list to take a look at. And as you can see this is actually a PS4 park and really cool kind of spread out layout. A lot of very unique designs that I'm excited to look at with you guys and definitely some real life inspiration in here and I think some Jaegerhorn Silverette ins uh, inspiration as well. But this park was created by Greasy23Gamer and it's called Emerald's Alpine Adventure Park. And as you can see, I mean, this game is just really beautiful, but that wooden coaster looks awesome. And then you've got a Terran inspired coaster right here. And it's actually called Terran, so I'm sure it's modeled to look a lot like it. You've got a being in floorless. But the detail says it's a huge alpine theme park with five roller coasters. The park, which is divided into four big areas, the entrance, Forbidden Valley, Klugenheim, Mystery Forest, is 100% developed without any empty or non themed areas. Every roller coaster is fully smoothed out and completely built by myself. Also, the park is heavily inspired by Silverheads, or sorry, Silverette's Jaegerhorn and Kings Island in Ohio. I hope you enjoyed my park. It took four months to create. Have fun exploring. All right, so also if anybody of you know this creator, because I believe they, I haven't been able to get in contact with them to message about their park, I would love for you to let them know about this spotlight um, if you believe it's something worthy of, of um, honoring their park, essentially, just because, I mean, when it takes four months to create a park, you want people to showcase it and kind of see how amazing the creation is. And so I just went to Kings Island about a month and a half ago. Um, and so I'm just really kind of excited to see maybe what what I can see is kind of inspired by Kings Island. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm really, really excited to take a look at this park as we've seen some overhead views. So let's go ahead and get started here at the entrance. I believe I have done a re uh, park before um, by this creator. I think it was like a, I think it's called like Emerald Isles or something. Um, I'll make sure when I put post the video up, I'll post the link to that video. So right away, nice entrance, nothing too crazy. You know, I like this little, little fountain area here. Do we come through here? And once again, kind of nice little plaza. There's enough seating, enough lighting, nice little planters in the middle. But there's a lot of custom fencing throughout, which I like. Now, personally, I would put some fencing on here because in theory, you could just have some crazy kid or somebody just kind of jump over the side. Um, and so I wouldn't want that liability. So I would put some kind of fencing there on the side. But I just love the building style and the color of the roofs. And that's one area I'm trying to get better at is building. And, you know, little things like this, like putting the supports there to kind of create that extra support structure for that style of building. Really good job. And we see off to the right, right away. So I wonder is this is, yeah, so this is the, this is a good example of custom fencing where, you know, placing the, the borders and then placing the fencing over it. And there we go. Looks like a, this one's inspired by Jaegerhorn. Love that little beeping sound. And I really need to do one of these mine train coasters and theme it up well. I, I tried one before, and it's like I quit. <laughs> just because I'm like, it just looks so weird when you're initially building it, just because there's no theming around it. So it really takes some patience and some vision. And so let's continue walking along. And you know what? For the sake of it, I feel like this park's going to be a good one to use flip cam a little bit for. Maybe not the entire time, but at least for a little bit just because of the views of some of these coasters and rides. Uh-oh, here it comes. Yeah, I mean, that view is just spectacular. And now I love what he did here. I honestly... I talk, oh, gosh. I honestly, this is just me personally, I would, I would just remove the top piece and leave it like that. That's just my personal decision, though, um, because I think this is a really, really cool, cool way of kind of creating that extra kind of unique look. Um, 
And you know what? Let's get... Sorry, I'm trying to get back in clip cam mode. Just so we can... I did not mean to get out of that mode before. <laughs> I don't look around clip cam mode a ton, but every time I look around in clip cam mode, I'm like, why don't I do this more? So what we're going to do first is... Let's see. So it closes at 1230, so it's called Silver Mountain. So let's go around to the left first, this way. Oh, I like the signage here. We got Terran, Rampage, Monte Rosa, Miss, okay, Mystic Timber. So that's going to be the, the King's Island inspired coaster. And then we got the Woodland Explorer. Yeah, I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful look, beautiful park. And I love the zoomed in views on this again that you can get. And carrying on this building style, and as you see, custom fencing all around. Now, right there, that's just the brick, brick pillar laid down for kind of a curb. And so I definitely like that. I think the curbs in this game are terrible. And I love the different style of fencing right here. And then once again, we change the fencing style. And I got some inspiration for my current park from this one in terms of using some of the posts like this. I just, I didn't use the exact ones, but kind of, same general kind of style and idea. But once again, I personally believe I would take that top portion off. But I think it's really looks really cool, really well done. And we're coming to our first coaster called Explorer of the Woodlands. So it's definitely a junior coaster. You know what? Let's skip the line. There we go. All right, so let's hop on this coaster. No need to look at the stats, as we know roughly how the stats would be. All right, so, and it's interesting. So today I've filmed three or four spotlights trying to get caught up on stuff. And the first one I filmed today was of that kind of, it was called Family World. It had the Jurassic World style in it. And I love the kids' coaster in that. I said that was maybe the best kids' coaster I've ridden in the game. And then this one tops it. And I just love the views you can get right here if you're the guest. Um, as the coaster is coming down that hill, I mean, just... Really fantastic views and stuff. So that's that's amazing. Really love that kid's coaster. And the building style too. I mean, you're going to... Definitely carries the Alpine style throughout. Which is really cool. Um, you know, I love the kind of different style little chimneys and looks too. Just to kind of vary it up. So once again, continues the fencing. And I like too how we've got the distinction. Like we've got the different path styles, right? Um, and this is a really, really cool touch up here. I don't know why they're stuck though. I don't know why they're all stuck there. Okay. Um, it's weird how that happens sometimes. So then we've got this bill. You know, maybe add a little bit more kind of going across up there. But yeah, I mean, looks looks good. Maybe add like a TV or some kind of signs or something just because it just seems a little bit kind of, kind of dull on the inside. And I don't mean that in a bad way. When you say dull, that sounds kind of bad. But yeah, there we go. That looks awesome. Um, gosh, I'm excited to ride. That might be my favorite coaster because I love Mystic Timbers. That is just phenomenal coaster. But I love the dual level here too. You know, um, we just don't see that often, and it's hard to create a path where the, as you can see, the um, the curbing kind of goes right in line with the wall, right? So it doesn't like awkwardly stand out that that there's not ground underneath and that you've got the curbs. Curbs, yeah, I think I said that right. So it's called Mr. Timbers. Oh, there was Taryn in the background. All right, so. 
Now I wonder if, oh, that's cool. Let's see if the coast, let's wait for a coaster to come by. Yeah, so this is definitely not a recreation in terms of exact layout, but it's definitely inspired by it. So I can just, just by looking there, I can see some inspired elements. Um, but really good job of varying up the foliage. Oh, here we go. Man, I love that. Um, just really cool, really good, really well done. And I mean, look at that curve. What is that? That almost looks like topper track, but it's not. I guess that's how it always looks. Um, yeah, this is really, really nice queue, really long queue, which the only negative of really long queues is it takes up a lot of the counter. But I like too how, you know, just kind of burying this uh, scavolia in the ground makes it kind of, kind of look like the grass is unkempt, you know? And so before we get started, let's kind of look at this layout. Yeah, this definitely gives me Mystic Timbers vibes. Not exact, um, because, you know, Mystic Timbers doesn't have this kind of little mini helix in that spot, but it does kind of twist around and stuff. And the first drop goes the opposite way on Mystic Timbers. And then when you do the second hill, it kind of comes back over the lift hill and then kind of goes into this kind of spaghetti kind of snake around stuff but that looks incredible so let's uh let's hop on this coaster and we can look at the stats so it's a wooden gnarler coaster all green impressive so if we look at the results look at the g-forces five air times hills so let's pause that biggest drop 30 meters yes yeah, so that's about right in line with it so we're definitely going to ride this one in front bumper view. Actually, you know what? I feel like even though front bumper is the smoothest, I kind of feel like with this coaster, we might want to be up a little bit so we can kind of control and see the kind of see the scenery and stuff. Because this is going to look pretty cool kind of going through the woods and stuff. You know, let's go front bumper real quick. This is the guy's hand kept popping up, and so just so we can really get a idea of the fact that this might be a perfectly smooth ride when riding this way. Um, this might be the best wooden roller coaster I've, I've seen in the game. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of the best, if not the best, wooden coaster in the game that I've seen. And there's one part too. I mean, you kind of lose sight of where you're, <laughs> where you're at. But there's one part here where you start going. You see that, um, that terrain right there. Just is that rock? Okay, yeah, those are rocks on the train. I was about to say, how do you get the train like that? But really, really well done. Now let's get back in flip cam mode for just a second while we walk over to Terran because this is um this is one of my bucket list coasters is I forget the where this is located at in the I think it's in the UK um but yeah this is a 
Once again, love the fencing. Man, that is just an unreal view right there. Yeah, I mean, just just fantastic. And I mean, just seeing the view, the other view of the park too. Like you've got the the mine train coaster going there. You got this really cool custom built ride skin. You got the inverted coaster over there. We got this spaghetti bowl of track right here that is Terran. So really, really well done. Man, this is this is just impressive. Quite impressive. And I need to do something like this too with my next park is create a coaster where the queue goes all inside of where the coaster track's at. So it really just you really just feel kind of attached to the ride as you're waiting for it. Um, you know, little things like that. That's really impressive. Let's see. Oh man, and then you get to this kind of rocky area. Awesome. Oh, I found out how to get out of flip cam mode. You just double click on the thing and then press press circle and it will take you away from Yeah. So once again all green. Vertical G's, G force is good. Six airtime, three inversions. So let's go ahead and take a ride on Terran. And I'd love to hear from you guys too, is this how accurate is this to the to the actual ride. Good gosh, that was, uh, it gave me, it kind of reminded me of, in a way, of I-305, Interior 305, and the fact of how its turns were. Like right here, this is, without a doubt, the perfect snap turn that I've seen on a coaster, just with how, how it was riding the coaster. And... This is just fantastic, and there are so many of those. Some of them were stronger than others, um, but wow, it is a uh, that was awesome. I mean, this is fantastic, and I love too. All of this is custom, and so I believe I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a little transfer track area? I don't know, but then you've got the launch area below for the second launch, and then you got the custom bridge here. Just, yeah, and then we got the custom supporting on the bridge. I mean, that's just unreal. And then on this side, oh, we've got a, we got shops and stuff over here. This is like its own little, little space. Okay. So it looks like we got a viewpoint. No, that's the exit of Terran. So the exit takes you out to a different spot than the entrance does. Okay, I gotcha. I love the little seating area here. If you put a viewpoint, people will maybe head over this way to at least stop and stare. Same thing with this kind of food area. But, I mean, just the layout of it's really nice. Um, from what we've seen so far of the park, just really nice layout. I mean, it's kind of amazing that all of this fit in with the PS4. Um, and I don't think there was an exploit used. Let me see. No, definitely no exploit used. But what I want to check on real quick is I want to see 
because I'm just really interested on how this creator did this part. So this, so that's 50 degrees. So I guess, I mean, maybe it's not exact, but so roughly 50 degrees. I don't know why I did that. Never mind. I was just trying to see kind of what the degree measurements were in terms of the turn. Because it looks like it definitely it de never flattens out. So it looks like it's going up like 11 degrees or something, then goes down the same amount. But that is just a phenomenal, um, maybe my favorite moment on any ride in the park. Just really, really well done, really whippy. And then you get to this mountain area. I mean, there's nothing else to say other than impressive this is one of the one of the best coaster parks i've seen on console in terms of the coasters being perfect and spot on let's go back because i don't think we can go this way no okay so they're funneling funneling you over to this side okay so they want you to go over here so that's where we just came from where i was like oh there's a food and stuff over here and you got some more stairs Then we've got, man, I mean, this just feels like, this doesn't even feel like a theme, uh, well, like I said, it feels like a theme park because everything's themed really well. So now we're going to the Forbidden Valley. Nice little food spot there or drink spot, whatever that was. Then we got the custom ride skin. called Monte Rosa. Really well done. Then we got our B&M invert. Oh, this is awesome. See, I like this more using... Let's see, is that just... Yeah, see, okay, you doubled it up there, but you used that, and you're not using the, the top, the, that piece that was on top. I like that more. I mean, just look at these views, though, guys. This is, guys and gals, this is really awesome. I will say, I think the, I did just notice this. I think the reason why this park's able to get these coasters in with all this theming is because there are literally a minimal amount of flat rides. Like now that I think about it, I, I think this is the only flat ride in the park and I could be wrong about that. So, but really it comes to when you're creating a park, like how do you want to create it? Um, and I tend to do more roller coasters as well, just because I feel like the limit's too small for you to make a true theme park. And when I say true theme park, like, you know, when you actually go to a theme park in real life, it doesn't matter how big of a park it is. There's about two times, two to three times as many flat rides as coasters. But there are, even the smaller parks have about eight coasters in their park. And the large ones, anywhere from 14 to 20. So, um... Yeah, Rampage, look at that. I mean, just another good job of having a nice kind of little entrance to it. I mean, going up on that hill, that's really majestic looking. Let's get this off the screen. So we got the entrance. So this one closes 30 minutes earlier than the other ride. I wonder why. Oh, nice little, you got the swampy area. That's just a nice touch. And it's kind of the... It's not the rough water. That's the still kind of muddy water. Yeah, this looks, I mean, the bridge. Carrying the post all the way to the floor or to the uh, riverbed looks cool. I mean, all this custom fencing. Or not custom fencing, but custom bordering looks awesome. And then you get up here and it looks like a castle. Just impressive. Love this station. Looks like stuff has been been ripped up. All right, so if you look at the results, vertical G's, lateral G's really, really good. Biggest drop, 21 meters. Vertical G's maybe getting a tad bit higher. Three inversions. And this kind of gives me Nemesis vibes with the beginning, at least from what I've seen about Nemesis from POVs and stuff.
So all my UK friends and people from the UK watching this, um, does this give you Nemesis vibes at all or not? Um, what are your thoughts? And I just love how with this along with Terran, I mean, it just goes like, it's not really high above the normal path. And so much of it goes underneath kind of the ground area. So, and that's just a really kind of cool touch. I think maybe this initial part, I think it kind of, I think here it kind of um, banks them out too far. Because I feel like if you're going to bank them that far, you would do it initially around the terms. It's kind of like barely banked, and then all of a sudden it way overbanks you once you straighten out. So I don't think that part is realistic, but I, c I could be wrong with that. Um, that's the only thing I can notice, but my goodness, what a what a cool park. Got a sign saying this way to the right, this right here, cool. And then look at this, uh, this roof is just wooden roof tile, two meter slope. And then you've got the wood pieces kind of creating the border. Just impressive. Let's go ahead and look at stuff at night. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really lit up. Maybe a little bit too much, but still really cool. So if you look at the Terran area, lit up in kind of pink. That's really, really well done. This is lit up in kind of orange. Yeah, really impressive. Really impressive. For me, I think I forget to light stuff up sometimes because you don't visit most theme parks at night. So I kind of forget about that aspect of it sometimes. So we got one more coaster left to ride, but I love all the little little plazas and piers and different stuff here. Like you've just got this little little nook area for people to kind of stand out there and is there a viewpoint? No, I'd put a viewpoint out here so people can actually watch the coaster. So now this is where I think the Jaegerhorn vibes kind of come in. Yeah, this is uh definitely gives me silverette silverette vibes or on the console version NH99 vibes since NH kind of recreated silverette's Jaeger horn, not recreated, but used it as inspiration as well. So I like this little garden area. You know, really really fits well. All right, then we come out here, and it looks like we got the coaster right there. All right, so let's get started on this coaster. All right, so that was phenomenal. Um, let me see. I'm going to take a guess on this. So the only thing I'd say is having to wait up here at the top of the lift. And that's due to the where you place block, block sections, if any. So let me see what this is. It's, uh, I 
Okay, so you place the block section here and here. Now the issue there is you can have both of those, which is fine. Here's what I would do. I would shade this section right here. Oh, let's see. I would change that to block section. But here's what I would do is I would also, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's turn on the angle snap. So let's, yeah. So now what I would do is I would just lengthen this a little bit and make it a block section. All right, so now we're connected. Um, and you can even turn this up a little bit instead of making it so short. So now what we could do is if we were to watch this, there shouldn't be a coaster stopping at the top of the lift hill anymore because by the time this other coaster gets to the top of the lift hill, that one's gone through the block section. So now everything's going to run smoothly. And it, it will run smoothly because when you get guests on the train, the guests aren't going to take as long. Um, you know what? That's Okay, so here's what needs to happen then. We need this to... We need to turn the release speed up, and huh, let's see. And then what you can do as well is you can change the, um, if you exit out of this, you can go to here, and you can do block sectioned, um, advanced settings, and you can see what's the minimum departure time, and you can turn that to 10. And so you apply that. And so now if we look at it, let's see, where is it? Uh, all right, let's, let's try this. Sorry, I'm just testing out a little bit too, and this is what it takes sometimes, just kind of testing it out. So you see how it delayed it a little bit? And when it delayed that, what it did was now it allows it to get there. And that one's maybe a fraction too soon. Yeah, so see what's going let's see, let's test something. One more thing. Sorry guys, I'm I might have totally messed this up and that was not my intention. But let's test it with opening the ride with guest. Because that's what that's the question I have. Is when you start having guests enter the ride, it usually delays it a little bit because when you're testing, you're not actually boarding guests and stuff like that. So I'm really kind of interested to see how this pans out once you kind of have guests getting on the coaster. I mean, look at the layout, and so while we're waiting on this, we can kind of wrap some things up here, too. Love the queue here and that custom queue line. I mean, this is just really, really well done. Beautiful building. Out of the four coasters, what do you guys think is your favorite? Um, and, yeah, make sure to go into the workshop, download, and rate this. Make sure, if you haven't yet, to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you really enjoy the content here as we are getting closer to 500 subscribers, which is really exciting. And I can't wait to get the community tabs. I think that's going to be a really, really big moment and important thing. Oh, man, so still not quite. Okay. Yeah, so the issue now is the layout is just, just a tad bit. Let's see, what's the chain speed? Because that could, that could drastically impact it, too. So let's see, last thing we're going to test. Yeah, I know y'all are stuck up there. Y'all are good. And I'm just trying to show, like, I mean, block sections can be the toughest thing to work with. Yeah, so if we if we slow down the chain speed, too, um, that can affect it because that's going to take more longer time for the coaster to um, get to the top of the lift hill, which means when this coaster goes, that one's... That one's going to take longer to get to the top of the lift hill, which means 
this one's going to have time to get to this chain. Yeah, so that, that will work. So now the coaster is going to, you're never going to have the coaster stop on the track anywhere. Because now you see that by the time this coaster gets gets here, this other one has just gone through the the uh, the next block section. So that's what I would do in my opinion. And sometimes it just takes that kind of working with it. You might have to adjust the layout a tad bit. I mean, look at the scenery here. That first drop is is second to none um, in terms of the beauty of it and stuff. And so really, really absolutely love this park. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, my personal favorite, I I still think I love this. Like this just, Mystic Timbers is my second favorite coaster I've ever been on. And this just really reminded me of it a lot. And then I would say probably the Terran ride. Then maybe the Invert and Mine Train would be kind of the order I'd rank them in terms of my favorites. But I think everyone is just really, really well done. And this creator to me is one of the best coaster creators on console. Um, and I don't think there's any question about that. And so what are your guys' opinions of the park? And as always, make sure to hit the like button. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.